Hey, you looking for EVs? Yeah. Come in. Welcome. My God, guys, the place is sick. What's the story behind EVs? Oh man, story time. Before story time, beer time. We have a kegerator in the back, flex. Do you want a IPA, sour, or a Pilsner? All fresh. IPA, please. I know what you want. Yeah, I'll be right yeah. back. Take it away, Bradley. Story's kind of interesting. I actually was on a road trip for my other business and we sold jeans. And I was living on my van, towing an Airstream trailer that was a showroom. And we were doing events all across the country. And halfway through the trip, I discovered One Wheels at a trade show. And I tried one, I became obsessed with it. I started visiting every city and going on group rides with every community in like One Wheel. Los Angeles had their own Facebook group and San Diego and New York City. And it was so much fun going on rides with all these communities and I became obsessed. And when I came back home 18 months later, I really wanted to help build up the Vancouver community. So I would host group rides and I sold one wheels and accessories and I did tire changes on my balcony in my apartment. And I kind of started a mini business there and then COVID hit and the world shut down and I saw so much more of an opportunity to actually like open up a shop, a real shop. And the, the rents were cheap and a lot of people weren't opening businesses and businesses were closing down. I saw a huge opportunity to actually kind of take advantage of uh, affordable rent. Cheers guys. Cheers. Cheers, cheers. Oh, man. So then he calls me. I'm living in Calgary at the time. And uh, actually, sorry, he didn't call me. I called him. You did. Out of nowhere to, I was working for a sales, in a sales role. And I was like, who do I call about closing a big commission? I don't know, Bradley. So I called him and he said, dude, I just made a great amount of money. I don't know who to talk to about this other than my mom. Like, huh, he's like, interesting. Cause uh, I had this idea for a business and I was actually gonna give you a call in the next couple of days. Sure you were. <laughs> and. A week later, we started locking down ideas and, and a month after that, I moved back to Vancouver and a month after that, yeah. we opened the store. It happened so fast. It's insane. And now here we are. Yeah. We know where we should be, on the couch. Let's relax with our beers. All right. With everything going online these days, why open a physical retail store? Big part of it is we wanted a place where people could come learn how to ride some of these devices, like an electric unicycle is not the easiest thing just to get on and go. But more so, we wanted to create an experience and a sense of community. We wanted to host group rides where people could come meet here, charge their wheels with our 50 chargers in our store here. And um, didn't matter if you ride a scooter or a one wheel or an electric unicycle or an e-skateboard, or just a sense of community. And the only thing that was gonna differentiate ourselves from the hundreds of online stores that already sell scooters, we're the only store like this in Canada, possibly the US. To add points to that, the, what I mean the only store is a store with a service shop in the back. We service every one of our customers, no matter what unit they bought from us, e-skate, one wheel, EUC, e-scooter, having that peace of mind of coming into a store and actually being able to come, test drive something, talk to a knowledgeable staff member about it, make your purchase and know that not only do you have a one year warranty, I don't want to sound too salesy here, you got a one year warranty, but you get warranty <laughs> coverage and we fix your scooter on the spot and we give you a loaner scooter to ride away if you if you need one. So it's just, you, you can't get that online. That level of service builds a level of trust that is just unparalleled to anything that you can find on a strictly online domain. And uh, it's been working quite well. Yeah, sense of community. That's I think that's the biggest thing is having that sense of community. And, and people come here, they hang out, they want to chat about the latest rumors and so it's, it's fun for us because we love, we're passionate about these things and it's fun for the customer because they are also passionate about these things. We're all a bunch of PEV dorks, but yeah. <laughs> love we love it. So what does the future hold for EVs? Oh man, so much, so much. I'd say most immediately uh, expansion of the physical retail stores and the online presence. Hopefully, most likely, quite soon into California. California, <laughs> Santa Monica. Santa Monica is yeah, the dream. Santa That's Monica. I love that place. Let's go. Yeah, and then beyond that, um, all the different hubs across North America. So not forgetting our Canadian roots, Toronto, maybe Montreal yeah. when they're a bit more friendly. Yeah, Austin, Miami, New, New York. York. Jinx. So many options. <laughs> yeah, so many places to go. But most immediately in the future, I think time for redemption for me in a game of team deathmatch oh, oh, on the yeah. PS5. You're going down. Buddy. Yeah, okay. I'll grab my lucky nice controller. Play. We'll see what's up. You're on too, buddy. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Hit the lights. All right, let's go. 